Oh, are we recording? What you think? We don't have any smart now. Obviously, we are. Because you're trying to show off. Anyway, hi, everyone. This hey, up, is y'all? We Are the Moss. <laughs> this is my husband, my testy husband right now. He's a little tired, and then he gets into his little man period. Um, you know, man PMSing. And uh, this is my, but this is him. This is Ayuse Ma'at. And this is her. This is Yana Ma'at. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're coming to you because um, this is what we do. We answer questions. We answer your questions. They come in in a variety of ways. Where did you put it, dear? Um, it's right here, bro. And we're going to read it. We're going to get right into it. And I'm going to do it. So I'll read it. Oh, you'll read it? Yeah. Okay. I'm a little bit irritated because I actually did this video earlier today um, by myself and, and um, it didn't upload properly. <laughs> that was a sign from the universe. So, um, that it needed you? I don't know. It's a sign. Alright, y'all. My husband and I have been separated for a year. At times, he blames me for everything. He loves me one day, screams, and is foaming at the mouth the next. <laughs> foaming at the mouth? <laughs> I know there has been other women, but he has denied it because of his job so that I think has held us back. I don't. You read this earlier? Yeah, but I forgot the way it was. All right, excuse us, y'all, because I'm reading it just as it is, and excuse the grammar. But um, I don't. I'm texting hundreds a day. I'm texting hundreds of times a day, calling and calling. He will reply, reply that he loves me, that he misses me, but still isn't back. When I ask why and why so long, he will repeat that he is coming home. And put it out like it was my fault again. I don't know. I'm on pins and needles and have tried everything. He is a master in reverse psychology. I love him dearly. I want to believe him. What in the world can I do? If I ask when is he coming home, sometimes he will get mad, say things like I'm trying to wound him up. I guess trying to wind him up or I don't know. Um, But I just got, I just don't get any of this. You're doing a great job. It's been a year. He says he will be back to hang lights. Still isn't. It's been a year? Wait, 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 wait. It's been a year. He said he, he went out and said he was going to be back to hang lights. He still isn't back. He can say the most beautiful words, but hasn't been around in a while. How do I get him back? How can I grab his attention and open his heart again to me? Speak on that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so That's just just good. yeah, I, I, we actually um, are labeling this video something about toxic relationships, and I think that says you need to be mindful of the fact that you're mm-hmm. very much in a toxic relationship, so toxic to the point that you lost your ability to discern the difference between right and wrong, mm-hmm. good and bad, left and right, up and down. It's almost as if like you're disoriented because you're caught up in the chaos of his toxicity and you're sitting and seeping in your own toxicity. So it's multiplying and it's just a a, a miserable mess that you have yourself in. It's just stank. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, what I'll say is that. Seriously. You need to bounce. I mean, he should no longer. I mean, waiting around for a year to hang light. She don't have to bounce because there's nowhere to bounce from. He's not there. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> she's about mentally I guess <laughs> yeah so this right here to me I mean it rings bells of any emotionally I wouldn't say emotionally abusive because he's like absent and vacant um, maybe sexually abusive because you ain't getting none and mentally abusive because you know he got he's playing these mind tricks on you you know and, and, and you're falling for it so you know, what I would encourage you to do is really take a really good, honest assessment of, of where you are. And I know you say you love him and you want to be in a relationship with him. And how can I get this man back who's been gone for over a year and he told Grab me he was going to, to hang lights. And Open still, his heart again to me. Yeah, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, um, it rings of, of thirstiness, you know, to be quite frank. Yeah, so you need to take a look at yourself, sis, because, you know, really and truthfully, like, he don't want you. He does not want Your husband does not want you. Well, this is... Oh, Lord, this is a husband. I thought this was a, this was my, okay, I wasn't following. This is husband. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so. Wow. What you got to say? Um, 
What do I have to say? I, I think you said it all. I think you've done a pretty good job of it. Um, how did you get yourself back, sis? The question that you left us with is, how is it that I grab his attention and open his heart back up again to me? And that is the question that you need to place at your own feet. How is it that you grab your own attention, that you're able to look inward and actually see clearly? Because you all off right now. Mm -hmm. You all off. I mean, he ain't been back for a year. He said he was going to hang lights. And you actually type that. And see, what I've said before in other videos, and I'll say again, is that it is uh, interesting. I'm always wondering what folks are thinking and how you're processing when you're actually typing the email. Because when you have to type things or write things down, things oftentimes come up for us that didn't come up for us before because we're actually making it plain. Mm -hmm. right? It's not just all in our head. So what did you think when you typed? He hadn't been here in a year. He, he said he was going uh, away for a sec or going out to the store. What did he say? I don't know. But I he, know he's he was foaming coming in the mouth, back and, he's foaming in the mouth and screaming at you. And, that's <laughs> and, and you typed that and you, you didn't think, oh, wait a minute, I might be a little off. I don't know. But what I do know is that you are and that you need to really focus on self. you got to let him go. But it really isn't about him. It's about your sense of uh, self. It's about your sense of allegiance to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, where's your dignity? You understand? Where's your dignity? You know, a lot of times we let all kind of things fall away from us. You know, we all fall down. We just got all kind of stuff that's just stinking. We ain't together. We're not right. But the last thing that people will try to hold on to oftentimes is their pride, you know, their dignity. And you are letting that fall to the wayside, which says to me that you're in deep. And the deepness that you're in is your own stuff. And you cannot see it. So we hope that this has been of some help to you. I hope that you actually take a minute, just a little minute, to figure out why it is you have betrayed yourself in this way. And, and, and my hunch is that this is not the first time that you betrayed yourself in this way. My hunch is that you often have put yourself um, second, third, fourth, and fifth. My hunch is that, you know, this is kind of the role you know because you seem so comfortable with it. Like, you know, how do I get his attention? I want him to come back. <laughs> you ain't even thought about the fact that maybe he just need to keep it moving and maybe you need to keep it stepping. You ain't even thought about that. So this is normal for you. And you need to hear the alarm. You, this ain't normal. This is not okay. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Sometimes we give it to you real plain. Sometimes we give it to you with a little edge. But it's always coming in love, sis. Take care of yourself. Because if you don't, as you can clearly see, no one else will. In order to do that, though, what you got to do, boo? Stop playing and start pushing. <laughs>